It was a gut-wrenching decision. It's um, a very sad thing that we had to announce. Uh, but the truth of the matter is it's the right thing to do. For the first time in its 50 year history, Comic Con was forced to cancel its popular event. It's been a staple here in San Diego year after year, and it should come as no surprise that the financial impact of its cancellation is very significant. Fox 5's Kasha Gorchik is live downtown tonight with more on the impact. Kasha. Well, about 135,000 people were expected to pass through the convention center and really our region as a whole during Comic-Con 2020 this July. The cancellation now putting a big dent in an already tough economic time. It won't be the same July without them. From the exhibits to the panels to the tens of thousands of people expected to pass through and bring business to our city and region, losing Comic-Con 2020 means a big financial loss as well. Convention Center staff have been keeping track of event cancellations and the impacts they'll have, releasing these figures Friday. Total regional impact will be a loss of about $166 million, a loss of just over $3 million in taxes generated, and total spending by those attending was estimated at nearly $100 million. The amount of contracted hotel rooms no longer needed was more than 60,000. The cancellation will, of course, cause Comic-Con itself to take a big hit, with the event earning about $20 million last year. Effectively, we have no income coming in this year. That's a dire situation. We'll make the best of it. Uh, the money that we do have is enough that should hold us over. But without replenishing that, it's it's going to be it's going to be a challenge. Earlier in the week, Mayor Faulkner announced a budget proposal for the next fiscal year beginning in July. It involved a number of cuts in spending and positions to make up for expected losses, but Comic-Con being canceled had yet to be factored in. I will be updating all of those figures in our May revise that is coming uh, in about three weeks from now. So it is significant. Comic-Con is set to return 2021, and the mayor plans to announce any additional changes to the budget within the next month or so. Reporting downtown, Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.